All right, so in this video is going to be talking about uh, Cricut Design Space version 3. Right now it's in beta, uh, but I'm going to be talking about 10 things that I like about the beta version or what's coming in Design Space 3, uh, features that weren't in uh, design space, uh, you know, version two anyway. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now these are in no particular order uh, as far as favorites, but the, the first one I do want to talk about is contouring. Contouring has changed. It's not a new feature, but some of the, the additions in the contour menu uh, have changed. Uh, it's going to give you a better look as well as, uh, you know, you have, you know, easier options for you. So if you don't know what contouring does, you can basically hide shapes. Um, I am going to drag this down here to the to the bottom left because I, I do want to show you something uh, with contour. So contour is now found down here in the bottom right, and if I click on it, I can see this. Now, of course, I can uh, zoom in, zoom out, but uh, more importantly, the features that are over here is the hide all contours, which is great because sometimes when you have a shape, you you know, it's much easier to just start from scratch. Uh, you know, for example, I want to go ahead and hide all the contours. Uh, you can sort of see it change down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand my browser. I'm just going to grow it a little because this is another nice feature that is in within co hide contour is you are able to see a preview of what's going on. So if I click on this circle here, now it has punched out. Uh, likewise, you know, you can scroll through these shapes if you want here to individually click on it. But, you know, very nice feature uh, of, of what they've added within Cricut Design Space version 3 with the hide contour being more user friendly. Because, like I said, you, you know, if you wanted to start all over from scratch and hide all contours, uh, I mean, you'd have to individually click each single one. So, big time saver. Uh, great job for Cricut with coming out with that feature. So number two on the list here would be the font selection. I, I think they sort of, you know, try to go with the iOS approach because this is the, very much like it. Uh, you know, anyways, when you have the, the text typed out there, you'll see this up here, which is the font. Uh, you can go ahead and select the drop-down menu, and you're going to be able to scroll through all the fonts. I mean, it's very snappy. You know, one, one of the things that, you know, that you will notice with this is the fonts will just populate like it's like it's nothing so very fast and snappy with it uh, in, in addition to you know you can go ahead and filter based upon all system or you know cricket based and you can further fil filter this based upon you know whether it's multi-layer single layer or writing style font so uh, that makes it makes it great as well so the, the fonts really big thing uh, really great improvement that Cricut has done with it. All right, so uh, one of the other great features in this, and this is number three, it's the text editor. Uh, you can now expand it so you can actually see what you're actually typing. So well, with that said, if I double click here, um, you know you can go ahead and expand this all out, uh, you know, in order to get the, the full uh, effect here. Very easy to copy and paste and that way you can actually see what you're trying to edit uh, you know because before you know you're kind of stuck with this and scrolling and and you know just a mess but having this to be able to be expanded uh, another great feature that will be you know welcomed uh, you know and hopefully you guys knew about that all right so number four uh, is going to be the help menu here that they have here for the keyboard shortcuts anyway if you go ahead and use the question mark button you're going to see a list of them that will pop up uh, you know you may want to get familiar with these but I tell you that there could be some time saving things uh, especially since right now the right click menu doesn't work uh, with this but I uh, mean especially with the uh, bring forward bring back uh, you know on on the Mac anyway it's command uh, on the Windows and PC you know, I mean what, what you're looking at for that is going to be the control button, but it tells you right there. Um, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and you know play around with the the diamond and the square. So for this, real simply, just select the diamond. If you need to uh, bring it to the back, it's uh, the, the command or control uh, left bracket, or of course you can bring it to the front, uh, you know, using the right bracket. So um, get familiar with the. 
uh, you know, the shortcuts. Now, when it has this up arrow, it's not talking about your up arrow on the keyboard. That's a shift button. So command shift Z to, un, you know, to redo command Z or control Z to undo. So the up arrow is not the actual up arrow on your keyboard. It is the shift button. So, uh, that is number four on the list here of 10. All right, number five here is going to be the rulers that you see up here, the, the numeric rulers that you see. Uh, basically, when you scroll left and right, you notice that they're staying on there, so you can sort of see uh, you know, using your canvas rulers anyway. Uh, same thing if you, if you scroll down. So if I'm going over to the right and scrolling down, uh, you can see that they are staying fixed right up there to the top, so you can you actually know where you're at if you're trying to align things. Uh, you know, more accurately anyway. So that is number five. So number six here is zooming. A ni nice feature that they, they added with this is you can select a shape and then you can zoom in right on that shape uh, just with having that shape selected. So say, for example, I wanted to zoom in a little tighter on the diamond uh, over here. All I have to do is with my little zoom uh, buttons here just click on the plus and it's always going to bring that shape in uh, likewise if I select the the toucan bird here if I go ahead and zoom in you can see that it's going to be centeredly zoomed in uh, with it so another nice feature to have within the Cricut Design Space uh, version 3 here which is the zooming on a specific shape right, so number seven uh, is going to be group hiding uh, I tell you well welcomed feature uh, in this you know, we have the eyeball right here. Now, normally in, in Cricut Design Space, you know, version 2 and 1, I mean, you'd have to individually click all of these if you wanted to hide this entire arrow group here that we brought in. But now you no longer have to do that. You no longer have to click each individual eye. Uh, the eye right here containing the entire uh, drop-down arrow here is the eyeball right there. So very uh, great feature in that, which is the group hiding so very nice number eight is going to be the make it button which uh, used to be the go button if we go ahead and click on make it you know the mat all right this is what uh, used to be a little troublesome when it came to viewing things so now if it looks a little small to you all you have to do is increase your browser and you know the the mat will become larger as well so a uh, very nice addition to this, uh, you know, getting modernized browsers. So if you have a big screen, you know, just make it big uh, with your browser. So that was number eight. All right, number nine uh, for this is going to have to be the current colors. Uh, you know, so say, for example, if we add a shape here, uh, of course, it is a gray. Now, let's go ahead and choose a color for it. And you can sort of see that right here where it says current colors, this is all the colors that are currently being used within this project. So if you're trying to utilize this for easy syncing or easy matte placement, all you would have to do is select a color that's already on there and it will select it on there. So when you click make it, it appears on that colored matte. So um, that is number nine, which is current colors found when you select the color. Right, and uh, this right here has to be at everyone's top of the list, which is the My Projects, because when you click on this, uh, we finally get a preview of what the Project A was called, as well as the preview of the actual project. So all you'd have to do is select what was your project, and then go ahead and click on Open. And I tell you, so much easier to see it uh, within the My Projects Previewer. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the uh, the top ten of mine may have been the top ten of yours. But if you think I missed something, uh, go ahead and post it in the comments below. Uh, we'll definitely take a look at what your favorites were in Cricut Design Space Version 3. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, as well as like the video. Okay, until next time, bye.